o'clock at night right now, 27 degrees outside, no wind, no shade, very, very hot. Uh, food is done, everyone's kind of gone their separate ways for the night, and uh, I'm sitting here in my tent without a mattress because it is still wet from the other day. I haven't had time to dry it. So sitting on the top of my truck, I'm hoping it'll dry out just a little bit so that it won't develop too much mold. That's gross, I know, but reality. Oh, yeah, and um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do some editing and then uh, bring my matches back in and go to sleep, hopefully. Well, that was the first and probably only night that we'll spend in Inuvik. Uh, probably my last for another, say, two years, because I'm definitely going to be back here to drive to Tuktoyuktuk -tuk -tuk next time. Bring the wife, I think. Allison, you're coming with me. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to go check out a um, uh, an arts festival at the arena, and then I think we'll just kind of slowly get on our way and head down south. Back to Dawson City. So I guess technically this is the Mackenzie River here. It's kind of an offshoot of the main portion of the river. Uh, just kind of part of the big delta that eventually drains into the Arctic Ocean. And I camped right beside it last night. So this was camp last night. Right here. Behind me is the river. And we're going to hop in the truck. Willow, come. Come on, load up. Load up. Good girl. Hop in the truck and get moving to the arena. Do, 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 do.
currently in my truck editing photos because it is crazy storming outside. I had to uh, have Charles help me pull down my tent so that it didn't get soaked like last time because it's exactly this kind of blowing rain that just like blew right through uh, the door, the side door of my tent and soaked my mattress last time. So, gotta wait it out. Hopefully it actually stops. Well, it might be in here for a while. Okay, since it's 10.30 at night and we have nothing better to do, and the truck is nice and dirty, we're gonna do a truck tour with Charles! <laughs> Yay! All right, Charles, show us what you got. All right. This is it. This is Charles. What year is it? 87. 87 Sun Raider. Yeah. Toyota Sun Raider. 4x4. Four 4x4, four. Four four, yeah. Alright, show me what you showed me earlier. Just stove top and, you know, and right. storage and stuff. So, stove top. You can get the oven. Yeah. Bridge. Storage. Some more storage there. You got the got the bathroom with shower. Look. And then over here, I'm gonna step out of the camper. We got the bed, nice sleeping area there, and then the pass through into the cab. We're all shut up for sleeping, so it's a little dark in there, but... So, give us a, a quick, um, kind of story of, of the truck. Um, me and my dad uh, took the plane to San Francisco, and uh, we drove it all the way back to Montreal. Uh, we tried, uh, blew the engine uh, a few miles away from home, and uh, yeah. I mean, we we had to fix the engine and then managed to bring it back a second time and then had to swap the engine to get a little bit more power. So what did you put in there? Uh, V6 3.4 uh, Tacoma. Nice. And, uh, yeah, so still slow but better. <laughs> <laughs> let's do a little let's do a little outside tour of the truck here. All right. As you can see, it's a pretty minty clean Toyota Sun Raider. There's very, very little rust being from San Francisco. And uh, got the four wheel drive up there. Pretty rare to get that. Nice Airby bumper with the uh, Smitty Bill XRC winch. How many pounds is that? I don't know. Probably 9,500, 9, I'd imagine. Truck is called Dr. Lee after the previous owner. We got the uh, that looks like a fantastic fan or something up there. With, yeah. You got the AC and the solar panel, custom made surf rack, roof rack, surf rack. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, let's go around back. We are uh, currently driving the Dempster Highway, so, and it just rained, so it's uh, pretty muddy. So it looks like we've got a custom-built uh, rack on the back with, we got a little extra storage there, right? Eh? Yeah, we got the extra storage down there, and some extra fuel for the generator, and there's a little switch here that uh, emptied the fuel tank in the main tank of the vehicle. Nice, nice. So you guys, where are you headed? We're headed to, well, next step is Prudhoe Bay, and then we're going all the way down to Argentina. Nice. Yeah. Well, guys, these uh, these guys are called Home on Wheels. You can see their website right here. Homeonwheels.ca. <laughs> all in mud. So uh, be sure to go check them out and give them a follow on Instagram and uh, compliment on their photos because Charles takes fantastic photos and um
it's going to be a pretty cool adventure.